Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Drug Inspector Preparation Series. In this video, I will explain the syllabus of pharmacology, anatomy, physiology and the important topics. Now, when you see the syllabus, there are four different units which are which comes under anatomy, physiology and pharmacology. The first unit is about cardiovascular system. Now, physiology related to heart means what is a cardiac output, what is stroke volume, what is cardiac cycle is, what do you mean by systemic circulation, what do you mean by pulmonary circulation, all these things you need to go through. And related to diseases in cardiovascular system, hypertension, hypotension, angina pectoris, myocardial infarction and congestive heart failure topics are given. See, for these things you need to understand the pathophysiology of these diseases. Understand in simple words. See, normal blood pressure is 120 by 80. Hypertension means anything above 140 by 90 is considered as hypertension. Hypotension means anything equal to or below 60 by 90 is considered as hypotension. Understand in simple means, then the subject will become very easier. Coming to angina pectoris, see heart will be continuously contracting and relaxing. For that it needs energy. The energy is provided by blood circulation. It is through coronary blood vessels. So when blood circulation is reduced, the oxygen supply to the heart is reduced. When oxygen supply to the heart is reduced, there comes a pain that is known as chest pain or angina pectoris. When this circulation blood supply to the heart is reduced, the muscle of heart gets damaged. That's called infraction. So this particular problem is called as myocardial infarction. So angina, myocardial infarction and then congestive heart failure. When ha See what is the function of heart? To contract and to relax. When this contractile ability is reduced, that is called heart failure. When heart fails to contract completely, when it is not contracting properly, blood will get pulled inside the heart. That condition is called as congestive heart failure. So understand in this kind of simple means, then you need to apply with drugs to treat all these diseases. Now after this cardiovascular system, then you have digestive system is there. Again in digestive system physiology, you need to understand which cells secrete HCL, from where the stomach gets mucus, all these things are important. Related to disorders, you need to know about peptic ulcers, constipation, diarrhea, jaundice. Similarly drugs, anti-ulcer drugs, antacids, laxatives, anti-diarrheal agents and probiotics also you need to take a note of it. So this is what is given in syllabus. After that you have central nervous system is there. In central nervous system, cellular hypnotics, anti-anxiety drugs, central skeletal muscle relaxants, anti-epileptics are given in the syllabus. Now, along with that, analgesics, antiparietic, anti inflammatory drugs also you need to go through. Now the final topic is about chemotherapy. Now see, wherever the chemotherapy is, the important classes are, six classes are there. Antibacterials, antifungals, antiviral, antiprotozoal, antihelminthics and anti-cancer agent. Along with that, there is a special mention about antimicrobial therapy, anti-malarials, anti-TB and anti-leprosy. All these things you need to go through it. See, majority of the syllabus is covered by pharmaceutics and pharmacology and anatomy physiology. Anatomy physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, all the three are interrelated ones. When you know the physiology, you will understand the function of that particular organ. Pathophysiology will tell us what is wrong with the physiological function. Based on these two, you can give drug therapy. That is what is pharmacology is. So don't separate all these things. Read them together. You will get comprehensive idea. All the best. Thank you for watching this video.